Good evening, and welcome to my laboratory. What you're looking at here is another Arduino project that I just put together. This is uh, an inductance meter. Uh, there's the Parallax LCD. There's the OSEP Arduino Uno clone. There's the little three cell LiPo battery I'm going to be running it from. And this is the heart of the matter. This is a, a resonant circuit. The test inductor, the device under test, will be uh, coupled in with the, these, this capacitor here, which is as close to two microfarads as I could get it. And uh, it will form a resonant tank, and then the comparator and the rest of the circuitry provide a pulse. They interrogate the LC with a pulse and then read its uh, resonant frequency and compute the inductance based on the known value of the capacitance and the resonant frequency of the of the ring. Okay, and uh, so let's see. I got this circuit off of the internet and in the description I'll give the link to where I found it but here's the circuit here as you can see it's very complicated um, I did not have the comparator comparator that they showed in the original schematic so I used one that I pulled from an old television set I found a KA393 uh, dual comparator op amp kind of thing in a TV set so I pulled it out one of the TV chassis that I was looking at and the rest of it is just uh, ordinary components you need two microfarads of capacitance there there's a hair and uh, that's where the device under test goes and that's where from the Arduino pulse comes in and there's your pinout and there's your pulse to the Arduino and that's that's the circuit right there okay so and then, I, then of course I have the LCD hooked up in the normal way with the power leads and one signal lead okay so let's let's see if I can plug it in now with one hand Okay, so now it's interrogating this little commercial inductor here, whose uh, value just happens to be stamped on it. It says 1.5 millihenries. That's the value that it stabilizes out to is 1498 microhenries. If you know the value of the capacitance quite quite accurately, you can get a even more accurate reading on the inductor. Okay. Let's see if I can actually change that with one hand. Probably can't. Sorry about that. Hold the camera under my chin. And we'll put another inductor in there. This is a commercial Radio Shack inductor. They, it's uh, supposed to be a hundred microhenries. Stick that in there. Not too bad. That's for that Radio Shack inductor. And then uh, this is a supposed to be one microhenry, but it comes up as two microhenries on my system here. It's really hard to measure tiny inductances. And that's where the error in the capacitor will come in. I, I only know this capacitance to about two decimal places. 
and if I measure something like one microhenry, then I get a I get an error. glasses are. Did it break it? There it is. I just didn't have a good connection. Okay, and by adjusting some of the parameters, the timing parameters in the software, oh, there it red one micro Henry. By adjusting some of the parameters in the software you can probably get a little bit more accuracy on these small inductors by changing the pulse duration that it uh, that it sends out. But as you can see it is it is measuring. It's getting between one and two micro Henry's on that little inductor there. And then I have one more commercial inductor. It's this one. This one's marked 472J. Okay, so there you have it. There is a resonating circuit that's probed and read by the Arduino sketch and displaying its data on the parallax LCD. Thank you for watching.